Hello and welcome to the Cosmic Cultivators. Gina will be right with us. She's watering our carrots. So today is another one of those um, mixed handyman slash gardening episodes. We have a plethora of tomatoes. And I do mean a plethora. Which side are you coming? Over that side? All right. And I do mean a plethora of tomatoes. That being said, we're going to show you a different way of using a tomato cage, tomato trellis that you would find at any store, really. I think it's going to work great for us this year. We went from 40 degrees two days ago to 93 degrees today. Yeah. So, talk about jumping in head first, no getting used to it, no yeah. nothing. Just So, we waited till the later afternoon to get to this. So, we're gonna go ahead and show you what we mean. So I'm sure you heard in the background one of our buddies. Um, new guy we've been kind of listening to. He does wonderful things for a lot of people. And that's Tuber Chat. Connect and grow. Pretty nice guy. Gives up his time four days a week to um, shout out other people. So, anyway. What we have here is our pots from last year that were homes to all of our fruit trees that are now in our fruit forest. So the idea that I had about these, they didn't have these holes here, so I strategically drilled them so the tomato cage would fit in it. So what I want to do is bend the ends of these, if I can, that is we shall see oh man that just bent my tool that's not a good thing can you see that it bent the tool I need to go find a better tool okay so I made sure I had the right tool for the job this time I went ahead and bent one There's another one. They're actually really tough to bend, honestly. Either that or I'm starting to get weak in my old age. So now... When we pull those up, I'm going to have to do a little bit more bending on this and the other, but um, you kind of see what we're getting at here. So I need to bend that one a little bit more. <sighs> like so. And then that one. Cool. Flip that over. And now we got a, a tomato cage attached to our pot. I believe that's going to work out very well for um, what we need it for. So we're going to go ahead and fill it up and do these next two. So you'll see behind me, I have the red ones filled. And I have five black buckets. And this is another creator who's been with and I'm basically doing the same thing. I'm taking a, a short measurement. On this channel, but that's okay. We just want to push them towards and the I'm going to bend it. That they're looking towards. We just all know quick measurement. Different milestones of different types. Whether we're working on our first five subscribers or ten or fifty or a hundred or a thousand or even more, so we just want just to like so. push each other along. Bend those out a little bit. I'm hither with Heather's in the house. Good see you here. Into the bucket it goes. So this way it acts as a support system for all of these. We're going to continue filling this with a mixture. Yeah, we didn't sift any soil today, everybody. So we have some peat moss, compost, and potting soil mix. That's how we're mixing up this concoction to fill all of our buckets today. So we went ahead and we got all eight of these ready to rock and roll. 
We have extra compost for everything else that's happening around here. We went ahead and filled up all eight of these as well. And while I've been doing this, wifey has filled up our tomato bed here. She's plotting out how the rest of it's going to go down, like so. And she has ants crawling all over her. So as you see, we are getting things done. Oh, now I've seen everything. What is it? A piece of face mask. Oh, man. That was a piece of face mask inside of our soil. And we do not use face masks. Yeah, we don't, no. Um, our raspberry and blueberry bushes that we salvaged from Gina's Fruit Shack seem to be doing pretty well so far. It's only been a few days, but... Check behind you. And this is our natural trellising uh, peas and... Just peas. Just peas? Yep. Yeah. Three different varieties. I believe the count was over 120. Oh, it's 140. So if you want to check out what this is all about, go look at Ragnarok Prepper. He had this excellent idea of um, natural trellising. So we're going to go ahead and uh, walk around a little bit. Don't mind that junk over there. But here's Gina's onions. And as you see, some of them have five rings. Each one of these shoots represents one ring around the onion. There's another five, there's a five. So our onions are doing great thanks to the advice from John at Will It Grow. Thank you. Over here, this is all of our potatoes. And as you see, they are all doing wondrous things right now. We've already had to cover them over with some peat moss to ensure the potatoes wouldn't turn green, which means they're no, no good. Um, we didn't give up on growing onions from seed, and here's the results of it right here. We have a bunch of onions rocking and rolling. Um, here's some more that we planted in a bucket. This is, I guess, a, an experiment. See how much you can get from a small bucket. We had tons of onions, so as you see, we put them everywhere. Our goji berry, looking really good. Still waiting on seeds from our chive. Let's see if I can get in on that. There it is. Beautiful. This is our kale bed. Where we have three different varieties of kale. The Red Russian. The Dinosaur. And there's another one. Regular curly kale. And we have more onions. You'll notice a trend. There's onions everywhere. This bed still needs to be filled. We're thinking squash. Right here is our beans, yeah? Dragon tongue, French horticulture. Kentucky wonder. And that's going to be growing up the Tower of Power. Also acquired this year. Yeah, we still haven't done much with shipwrecked. Not yet, at least. We have um, other things. Other things right now. Our leek and onion bed looks like it needs some uh, pruning. Although I'm not sure because wifey likes to plant flowers in here. And, and here you see the Will It Grow Mile. Oh, I keep saying this wrong. 
Sunflower High Challenge garden bed. And our sunflower seems to be taking fairly well. We shall see. This bed is, um, we're trying to save some things. The uh, cucamelons right here, they're really not doing that hot. Not really at all. Yeah. And in the background, you see our trees are doing wonderful. But this was supposed to be kind of a handyman slash gardening and you're getting a bit of a garden tour. So as I've been walking around saying everything, showing everything, wifey is uh, on a roll. Here we are wrapping up the day. We did these the other day. You saw the garden tour. We'll do the trellising and all that. We'll talk about that another time. We went ahead and planted nine large growing tomatoes. And what I mean by that is like the pineapple, the mortgage lifter, and um, other ones such as that. Zip tied them together so have some nice structural stability. Then we went ahead and filled this up with tomatoes. That is, um, I think Gina planted heavy in this. S yeah, 21 more tomatoes in there. And then we put mortgage lifter, pineapple, uh, blueberry, and some of these are going to be mysteries. As you see, we're building a wall of tomatoes. And then we went ahead and set up Selena's grow area. She's going to get a few more pots. We're going to go ahead and buy her all of the um, soil, fill all these up for her. And she's going to go ahead and start her own little garden right here behind the wall of tomatoes. We still need to fill up the boat. And... We're going to go ahead and take a walk out back. Here you see Wifey in the distance. Shoveling barefoot. Shoveling barefoot. Lovely choice. So what is Wifey doing back here? It looks like she is planting Mother's Day gift. And a Ariana. Ariona. Ariona berry. Never even heard of it before. And that's a Mother's Day gift. Wifey's very excited for this. So. We're going to go ahead and plant this directly into the ground. It says it's great for jams, preserves, and baking. I've never even heard of them before. Yeah. Probably seen them growing all around us and thought they were poisonous berries. Yep. There's another one over there that's. So, wifey's going to go ahead and plant that. I'm going to show you. It is the naked cherry. Oh, not naked. The knacking cherry. I'm just kidding everybody. I was trying to be funny. So. Which is, did you see that it already has green on that Yeah, we did see that. You see our trees look beautiful. We brought all of our berry bushes out here. Hopefully the turkeys will leave that in the Yeah. You see the newest addition. We got light post. Our friend Brett, thank you so much, buddy. Went ahead and gave us just about half of what we needed. So we went ahead and did the whole front half. And we'll be getting more for the back half in the future. Uh, thornless blackberry doing great down there and yeah everything's starting to come together everyone slowly but surely you can see our chaos up there <laughs> all right we hope you all enjoyed have a wonderful day night afternoon we're gonna come over here and end it with wifey working hard while I'm doing all the camera work.
They tell me that is not the saddest plant you've ever seen. That is. Can you even, can you even tell where the plant is? They did say that if it was just a stick, I could bring it back. Okay. Well, we're going to let it grow and see if it works. If not, we're bringing that back. With that being said, I'll hang on to the box. Peace, love, and happiness. <laughs> Have a good one. Peace.